Bentley's mission statement for the new £160,000 Continental GT is as ambitious as it is straightforward. It should be the best luxury Grand Tourer you can buy. Officially, this one is the third generation Bentley Continental GT, although the second was really just a heavy update of the first. This one, though, is all new and much more sophisticated. Don't let the very familiar styling fool you. This Continental GT really is a new car altogether, right the way down to the platform it shares with the latest Porsche Panamera. Its new body is 80 kilograms lighter than that of the previous version, while three-chamber air springs promise to improve ride comfort. It's for that reason as well that this car has a very clever 48 volt dynamic ride system. It can decouple the anti-roll bars when you're driving in a straight line to make the ride more pliant and more comfortable, and then instantaneously reattach the anti-roll bars when you come to a corner so that the car handles with precision. The engine is an updated version of the familiar six liter W12. With a pair of turbochargers, it generates 626 brake horsepower and a monstrous 664 pounds foot of torque. Drive goes to all four wheels just like before, but for the first time the gearbox is an eight-speed dual clutch rather than a conventional automatic. At 2,240 kilograms, the Continental GT is, well, it's very heavy. But with all that power and torque, it's also very fast. It'll do 0 to 62 in 3.7 seconds and flat out you'll be doing 207 miles per hour. The car is dripping in striking design flourishes. The headlamps have a cut glass effect. The exhaust tips have a perforated sleeve which actually reduces exhaust temperatures and there are small graphics on the grills behind each front wheel that hint at the number of cylinders beneath the bonnet. Now, the cabin really is exceptional. The quality is very good. The overall sense of solidity is really impressive. The leather is soft, the fit and finish is exceptional. Apparently, there's more than 10 square meters of wood in here. It's so impressive, although these buttons here, these black shiny buttons, I'm not convinced about those. They look a little bit on the cheap side. The rear seats, they're actually useful. They're not just there for show. And the boot is very generous as well. And how's this for a delight feature? It's called Bentley Rotating Display. It's an optional extra and can either show a digital infotainment screen, a trio of analog dials, or when you shut the car down, a plain wood facade. And of course, it comes loaded with kit as standard. These seats, for instance, are electrically adjustable 20 ways. I can cool and heat them at the same time. The standard stereo is a 10 speaker system, 650 watts. This car has got the uprated 2200 watt name hi-fi with 18 speakers. Now, apart from feeling very big on the road, this car is actually effortless to drive and visibility is very good as well. There are four driving modes which you access using this rotary dial here. There's a comfort mode and a sport mode and a Bentley mode as well, which is kind of a combination of the two. There's also a customizable mode. Now this car comes as standard with lots of active safety features. There's traffic sign recognition, blind spot assist and lane keep assist as well. However, the new dual clutch transmission can be a little jerky at times, particularly when pulling away. The old automatic gearbox was smoother. Of course, the one thing a car like this should be able to do above everything else is be quiet and comfortable and relaxing over a very long journey. And this Continental GT is a supreme Grand Tour. The ride quality in comfort mode is exceptional. And while at motorway speeds you do get some tyre noise, some wind noise, generally it's so quiet and the powertrain very subdued as well. In sport mode, meanwhile, the car is actually far more agile and responsive than you'd ever expect it to be. But fun to drive? Not quite. It's still 2.2 tonnes and too comfort oriented. Aside from the sometimes jerky gearbox, the powertrain is hugely impressive. The big 6-litre W12 twin-turbo engine is, of course, a powerhouse. It's so strong, so muscular. It's also full of character, and then when you're just cruising around, it's totally refined as well. The gearbox is much quicker, much more responsive, particularly in manual mode, than the old automatic gearbox in the previous car. 
and the four-wheel drive system is intelligent now. So rather than having a fixed torque split between the two axles as the previous car did, this one can send drive to whichever axle can use it best. That means this new Continental GT is much more agile than the previous one. Now the Aston Martin DB11 is lighter, it's a more exciting car to drive, but as a high performance luxury Grand Tourer, there is no better car on sale today than the Bentley Continental GT. Now, thank you very much for watching. Please comment below, hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe as well to our YouTube channel. And remember, you will find the used car you're looking for from a top rated dealer at cargurus.co.uk.